As we mentioned in the section on film as perception, the camera can do more than present objective reality. It can show the viewer a world as filtered through the perception of a specific character. In this video, we will look at techniques that are used by the filmmaker to create a sense of objective reality and we will also look at those techniques that are used to create an image from a particular character's point of view. When a filmmaker is trying to decide where to put the camera, they must first determine whether or not they want to try to create an objective point of view or a subjective point of view. An objective point of view is created when the camera is placed in such a position as to create a sense that the viewer is outside or apart from the action, as though they were an objective observer. The further the camera is from the subject, the more objective the point of view. It is as though the audience was at a distance, viewing actions objectively. If the filmmaker wants to move closer to the action and still maintain objectivity, they will keep the camera at an angle that doesn't favor one character or another. The viewer will still remain detached from the action. An objective point of view tends to keep the camera a little above or a little below eye level. If the character looked in your direction, they wouldn't see you. You're on a different level than they are. This is not to say that high-angle or low-angle shots can't be subjective in nature. In fact, an extremely high-angle or extremely low-angle shot taken with the subject looking toward the camera can be very subjective. An objective camera angle is taken when the filmmaker wants the audience to be an observer of the action, when they want to create an element of realism. We see this technique used quite effectively in such classic neo-realism films as the Bicycle Thief. The filmmaker may wish to keep the audience in the dark about what is going on in the action of the film. The objective point of view will make the viewer feel as if they are following the action as an outsider, trying to discover what is going on. As we move the camera closer to one character or another, the experience tends to become more subjective. That is to say that we begin to share the point of view of the character. Perhaps the most notable use of subjective camera work was seen in the 1946 film Dark Passage featuring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. The first 30 minutes of the film is seen entirely from the central character's point of view. We don't see Bogart until after he has surgery done to change his appearance. It's rare that the camera is taken to this subjective extreme. Tends to call attention to the fact that we are seeing the world through the eyes of the camera rather than the central character. The subjective point of view is generally created through more subtle means. Where a two shot pointed directly at two characters creates a sense that we are objectively viewing the action, as we move the camera closer to one character or another, there is a sense that we are a part of the action. When the camera goes to an over-the-shoulder shot, even though we can see both characters, we get the feeling that we are sharing the point of view of the character over whose shoulder we are looking. This makes us feel as if we are part of the action. Take a look at these two similar shots. This one is taken from a relatively objective point of view. We sense that the character is speaking to someone and that we are watching them. The shot is taken from an objective point of view. This shot is taken from a slightly steeper angle. It gives us the sense that the character is speaking to us as well. It is a more subjective shot. One of the most powerful techniques a filmmaker uses, not only to create a strong point of view, but to open up the composition of the shot, is referred to as a point of view cutaway. A cutaway is done in the editing room. It occurs when the sequence moves from one shot to another. A point of view cutaway occurs when a character looks in a specific direction and then the shot cuts away to what the individual is looking at. Essentially the camera moves from an objective point of view, the viewer looking at a character, to a very subjective point of view. The audience sees what the character is looking at. The viewer in essence, becomes the character. We share their experience. We see the world through their eyes.
In this scene from our production of The Stronger, which takes place at a play rehearsal during the late 1800s, see how the camera moves our point of view from the subjective. If my madness is what you're looking for, then this is the first sign of it. Now it's up to you. Which will serve your own to the objective, so back to the subject. We see a rehearsal through the eyes of a young actress. If I die, you'll get the insurance, but not if I commit suicide. If I take my own life, you'll get nothing. So, you see, my dear, it appears that it would be in your own best interest to let me live out my life. So, you have me trapped. The trap is yours. Steer clear of it or stick your head in it. You'd say you'd kill yourself, but you haven't the nerve. No? With no one or nothing to live for? So, you just give up? I offer a truth. Then we see the actress a looking truth. towards the back of the theater. We see what she sees as a young mother shepherds in her children. We see a crucial reaction from the young actress. Then. We see a man sitting toward the rear, turn and look. We see his reaction. Without any dialogue, we have given the audience some very important emotional cues as to the relationships of these characters. As the dialogue begins, we come to learn more specifically about the relationships and understand how these point-of-view cutaways were significant. What are you doing here anyway? What they're doing right here is not work. How can I buy presents for the children if they're with me? Why can't you take them to your mother? If the child is not mine, I lay no claim to her. Or is that what you want? No. You want me to stay here and support you? When you watch a film, notice how the placement of the camera and the cutaways have influenced your attitude about the action unfolding in front of you. Notice all of the very creative ways that the filmmaker utilizes the point of view cutaway. We'll see you next time.